Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are finally tackling the DIY IKEA hack that I discussed in my last vlog. However, it has been constantly raining here in Sydney, Australia, and it just made it really impossible to film anything or do anything. It was just way too loud, gloomy and all the things. Um, but it's a beautiful sunny day today. We haven't seen the sun in such a long time. So I wanted to take advantage and film this video for you guys and pretty much get this done. Um, so in my last vlog, I mentioned that I was waiting for some curtain rings um, and also the larger size in the pleating hook hooks for the uh, the curtains and they have finally arrived as well so um, I'm gonna get started go in depth on how to do this hack um, and how to pretty much take your um, the curtains at in your home and take them to that next level uh, making making them look a little bit more custom and beautiful so if you would like to see how you can do this for yourself as well then keep watching for this project you will need some curtain rings in the same color as your curtain rod this is how the rings look they've got a little eyelet section at the end of it also your pleating curtain hooks they have four prongs and i have gone for the hook to be the same size as the prong you will also need some thread and a needle and also your curtains ikea curtains um, will have the pleating tape already installed or you will need some pleating tape to install onto your curtains so for the first curtain pleat style i am using some toothpicks this is completely optional but definitely handy so what i'm doing here is every fourth slot i insert the toothpick so this creates like a little guide for my curtain hooks to make it a little bit easier and not have you know any mistakes or having the prongs insert into other slots and yeah just pretty much messing up the entire style and pattern so it just makes it a whole lot easier after inserting the toothpicks i grab a hook and i literally just insert the first prong into the beginning of the slot and then what's great about these hooks that they're quite flexible so then you grab the second prong to the second toothpick and then so forth and so forth and then you pretty much just feed it all the way through so you will end up with something that looks like this it's already made such a big difference and you can stop here if you're happy with how the pleating is looking on your curtains however if you would like to create the pinching effect this is where your needle and thread comes into play so i pretty much i'm um, just following how the curtain is looking so every three mini pleats i just put one to two stitches into that just to create that pinching effect and style then you end up with something that looks like this the pleats are so pretty and exactly what i had in mind they definitely need an iron but for now i'm going to add the curtain rings onto the curtain rods ensuring i have just enough for both uh, curtain panels okay so this is how the pinch pleat style turned out very very nice it's very elegant and timeless and super easy to um to do as well so do keep in mind that this does take away from the actual width of the curtain um, so if you have a, a really large window and you can't afford for the width of the curtain to be taken away you can actually put two panels um, and pretty much just gather them together and it will turn out really beautiful and with the pleats um, the next style I'm going to share is super simple all you need are the pleating hooks which i'll share which i used on this style um, the exact same hooks the same curtain um uh, curtain rings but there's no sewing involved um, it's just a matter of like counting how many loops and um, pretty much creating a pattern uh, for your you know to insert the, the actual hooks and that just creates a really simple pleat no sewing no nothing or anything like that so I'm going to show you that design next and I'm going to install both of them um, so then that way you can kind of see how um, the type of pleat looks once it's hung up on a curtain rod. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. 
The next style is the simple no sew pleat. All you need are the pleating hooks and creating a pattern. So I have gone for three slots between each hook and then five slots between each prong. So this has created a really nice gathered uh, pleated effect. Okay, so this is how the simple pleat um, turns out. Very, very beautiful. It doesn't take away from the width um, and it's just, it's beautiful that all the um, brass rings actually show. Um, so I mean, you can close and open um, according to what you like and how wide you want the pleats um, to be in between each other. So this section, this panel here, obviously needs like a little steam, it's a bit creased up, but this is the pinch pleat um, effect. As you can see, it's a lot more slimmer in size um, since the pleats do kind of like take away from the width of the panel, um, but it's also very beautiful. And now I'm actually confused on how I want to um, do the curtain. So I'm gonna do a little vote with the family and see what they kind of think. Um, but before going ahead and doing that, I just wanted to mention, so for example, this panel here with the pinch plate effect, it took um, 10 of the brass rings and 10 of the hooks, whereas the simple plate, it took um, about 20, it doubled that. So 20 rings and 20 hooks. Um, so yeah, so that's like, so you can take put it kind of into, into perspective um, how much width is taken away. Um, but yeah, both styles are beautiful. I think it's so still, like this way, is still so much more um, elegant and, and classy and all of that, um, rather than just putting them onto the actual pole. I feel like it looks, it kind of takes away from how beautiful the drapes are, um, but yeah my personal opinion but I definitely feel like curtain rings are such a great way to take your curtains to the next okay level. so I think I've come up with a solution um, because I do want that pinched curtain look um, I really wanted that for the living room but I didn't want to take away from the width of the curtain um, I just feel like it and I think these particular IKEA curtains they might not stock them anymore because they weren't there at my last visit so I don't want to risk kind of having my mind I'll get another panel and then coming to find out that they no longer sell them I don't I really want to avoid um, that so I was just sitting there staring at the curtains and I was like you know what so why don't I um, try a single pleat uh, with the curtain that had the more hooks and the more rings. Now I didn't stitch them I just got some straight pins and pinned them in the form to see if I was happy with that and I think this is it you guys so I'm going to turn you guys around and show you how it looks um, before stitching anything. Okay so this is how it ended up turning out. Um, it definitely needs like an iron to keep those creases at bay, um, but I love it. I love the fact that it's not taken away from the width. Um, and what I did with every two rings, so every two hooks as well, I just placed a pin, um, which, you know, essentially I'll be putting like a stitch there. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. As opposed to, uh, it's a bit dark, let's zoom in. As opposed to taking away from the width, um, I think for our living room and the curtains that I have, this style is going to be perfect. Um, so yeah, I think this is the one you guys. And that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully that you guys give this a try. And that's another task for our living room makeover ticked off the list. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.